One of my favourite characters in the Hall of uh, Literature is Puddleglum. Now he appears in The Silver Chair by C.S. Lewis, one of the Narnia books, and he's rather a, a pathetic soul. He's uh, gloomy about everything. Nothing ever, you know, will go right. Uh, it's bound to rain and so on. Now you might know people like this. People who are negative, who always put a cold blanket or a wet blanket over everything, uh, all your plans, they can't work out right and so on. Now, as Christians, we're not supposed to be like that. In fact, we shouldn't be like that because we've got the most positive message in the entire world. We've got amazing story of Jesus and how he came and died and rose again and is here today. So we are grace people. That means we offer grace. We, we don't criticise all the time and pull things apart all the time. We should be positive. And this attitude, this positive attitude is so important. In Proverbs chapter 17, it tells us that those who have a negative attitude actually dry up the bones of people. In other words, they make people feel like jelly. And um, also it says that positive attitude is completely the opposite as the opposite effect. It's like medicine it heals it gives strength just think meeting someone who with a smile just think of someone who radiates joy and is uncritical and is positive in all that they do what a difference that makes to people and in in chapter 16 it says this pleasant words are a honeycomb sweet to the soul now the soul is made up of your mind your emotion and your will so pleasant words, positive words, people who radiate pos positivity bring to your mind good things. They make you feel better and think better. To your emotion, yeah, they make you feel so different that you were uplifted by them. And then your will, you feel like going on. You feel like in spite of everything, you'll keep on going. Now that's what we need. We need positive people around, you know. That it's the easiest thing to do in the world is to smile. And a smile makes all the difference because people can approach a person who is smiling and a person who speaks positive. That doesn't mean to say we have to be all the time bubbly and so on. No, no. But what it does mean is that we bring the positivity of Jesus. You know, in French, there's a word which is to encourage we get the word encourage, which means put courage into a person. And that's what such a person does. They bring courage to, to, to us to keep on going. When things are difficult, to keep on going. When things are against us, to be positive. You know what it says in the, in the Old Testament, when God brought Joshua and the people into the land, what did God say over and over and over again? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be of great courage because I am with you. So Christians shouldn't be puddle glums. They should be Pollyannas, the 12 year old who came to the town of, ha of uh, Harrington and changed it. That's what our presence should be like. You know, C.S. Lewis based this uh, this person, this puddleglum, on his gardener. He had this gardener for a few years, uh, but he, he was always glum. He was always depressed. He was always thinking of the worst. But yet, he was a very upright man. He was in, uh, he had integrity. He, uh, he used to go around the garden singing hymns, which annoyed the neighbours. But yet he had this inside, he had this depression. Let's be real Christians. Let's lift up our eyes to the Lord. Let's help others and lift them up by a positive attitude.